guys, welcome back to Colorado Springs Small Engine Repair. And in this video, we're going to continue working on the DeWalt generator. If you've been following along here, um, we had a DeWalt generator that uh, ripped the intake keepers and everything like that, bent the valve. Um, I'll link the video up here so you can go back and watch that. But I finally got all the parts that we need, so we're going to get that all reinstalled and um, set some valves and get it started. All right, let's get to work. All right, so one thing that I did not notice when I started putting this back together is that the keepers that were in there were worn. Um, they, they wouldn't catch the notch here. And um, so, I took them out and then I looked at brand new ones online and realized that the brand new ones, this is this, you can't see it, there's a little ridge in there. So just from being so tight, they're just bad. And then I'm assuming this retainer is bad too. So that's bad pieces. These are the pieces you want to put back in. So I'm guessing I might get away without having to use the valve spring compressor. I should be able to just put the keepers in there. And then push it down with my thumbs. At least I'm, I'm thinking I can do that. We'll see. I might have to get the spring compressor out. I can get the keepers to sit in there. All right, gloves gotta go. Can't get a hold of it. All right, there's one. There's two. Put it on there. Push down, and voila! Woo! I learned a lesson on that one. So check your keepers. Make sure they're not worn. Cause man, this this suckers. You can see now those suckers would not catch and you saw I just used my thumbs and did that all right got that on what's next get these rocker arms back in here and as you can see I got a box of parts <laughs> kind of grouped together Valve cover, spark plug, carburetor, some kind of plastic shroud piece, air filter, carburetor mount, air filter cover. So, not worried about any of this stuff right now. Here's the head bolts. More guide. Push rods. Rocker arms. That's where the exhaust. Don't need that yet. Another guide. Oh yeah, and you, you gotta have these. These are the caps for the, the end of the valves there. All right, and the rest of that there is just the hardware to mount all the shrouds and things like that back on. All right. You gotta remember how this all goes. All right, intake, exhaust, that's the bottom, that's the top.
I remember correctly, that went here just to keep those in. Oh, excuse me, like that. That keeps them from coming out. So I'm pretty sure I took a picture to remember what bolt hold that held that in there. So I'm actually just looking at my stuff and go, okay. Yeah, so I have like, you know, three of these and two of those. And then I know all these black ones are for the outside. So this is the only one that I have that doesn't have a partner. It goes right here. So next, we need to go put this on the engine. So we're gonna have to get the push rods down in there. And these probably just have to come back out so we can get the push rods up in there. All right, let's roll it over. All right, there's the top of the piston. It's at top dead center. That should make uh, a little bit easier to get the push rods and everything sitting in there. So just we're gonna start assembling. Now it's time to set the valves. The intake is 0 .004 inches and the exhaust is 0 .006 inches. So we gotta get back at top dead center. So I'll use this just a little stick or something that's not gonna damage anything. And you pull the cord, you look for the exhaust, there goes the exhaust. Then here comes the intake. And then when I feel the piston hit my stick and push it up to the top, there's top dead center. So now we gotta set the intake at 0 .004. So we got a few other gauge here, 0 .004. Put it between the top of the valve and the rocker here. Just kind of snug it up a little bit. Kind of get the lock nut right where it needs to be to tighten it. And then I used to use a pair pliers to hold where I want it and then I tighten the lock nut. And it's barely dragging. So that's the intake. And we're gonna do this and then we're gonna make sure it starts up and runs. We're gonna let it run a little bit well, actually, before you even let it run, we're going to set them here and then um, just pull the motor over just to get them to move. And then we'll check them again. But we will run it, let it warm up, and then we're going to come back and we're going to check them again. So we're doing the exhaust. It's 0 .006. I get it where I like it. Check it again. See, 
seems pretty good to me. So now I'm just gonna pull the motor over a few times. And then we're gonna put it back at top dead center. You look at the exhaust. There goes the exhaust. There goes the intake. Top dead center. So the exhaust should be at point zero zero six, which it is. And then the intake point zero zero four. Just a slight drag. I'm happy with that. So, I'm gonna put the spark plug in, and we're gonna finish putting the carburetor on, getting all that stuff mounted up, and then we're gonna put the valve cover on, and we're gonna start it up. Choke on, the gas is on. This does have a battery. I'm gonna be ready to kill it in case something goes crazy. Um, could be a little intim intimidating if you're new to working on small engines, um, doing valves and putting a head on and all that. Um, so if you have any questions for me, put them down below. I'll be glad to help you out. Um, I know with some basic tools and some basic knowledge of how to do valves, you can get it done. So um, the generators warm, it ran for a bit. It warmed up. I like so I, I changed the oil and the spark plug. Um, so now I'm gonna let it cool down and then I'm gonna pop that um, valve cover back off and just check the valves and make sure they're still in spec. Um, just to make sure, you know, everything sat back in, whatever you wanna call it. I don't know what the technical term, technical term for that is, but, um, but yeah, that's it for this video. I uh, appreciate you watching. Um, if you like my content, give it a thumbs up consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.